What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today we have another puzzle and it is going to be for the cast box. Now this looks like it's definitely going to be interesting. This is a level two and it looks very similar to the ABC cast puzzle we did where you have to remove this C, but this time you're going to be removing a ring from this cube, which looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. You do have to disassemble and reassemble it and that's what we're going to be doing today trying to get the solution for that. So assembled, it'll look like this. There's a starting position. And disassembled, you have to remove the ring from the cube. Now this looks like it's going to be interesting. If you guys want to check out puzzles for yourself and order yourself some, go to Puzzle Master. I'll leave them linked down below. They are amazing. That's where I got all of these puzzles for. And I'm an affiliate with them. So if you purchase anything, I will make a little bit so you will be supporting the channel. Let's open this up and we're going to take a closer look. Okay, so here we are. This is the cast box. Now this looks like it is very interesting. I do like the brass finish on the cube, but I don't know. I don't know how long this is going to take to do. But as always, we have the timer here. We're going to start it now and get right into it. So starting here to assemble and reassemble. Um, it appears like there's only a few things that you can do right off the bat, one of which is going through this end here. So how you maneuver the ring around, there's a little notch on the ring. We're gonna slide it through the grooves like that. Now we're in this section. So, I'm gonna try to put it on the top one here. It doesn't go, it kinda catches there look like it's meant to be but there's another notch on the other side we're going to put it through there so three moves in now we're on the far right side we started right in the center here and there's nothing else we can do going that way Definitely is something to think about. There's not too many options to do. I'll put it right back to the start for a second here and see what else I can uh, come up with. You can put it through the bottom and up to the right. And then you can go, nope, nope. Well, that's all you can do going that way, I guess. How'd I do that? Am I gonna remember how to do that and re to be able to reassemble it? I'm gonna stop the timer here. Three minutes and 25 seconds it took me to remove the ring from the box. That was pretty cool. Um, I'm kind of lost as to how I did it. So we're gonna be trying to reassemble it here. It is, it is that simple. Um, I overthought this one. I thought it would take a lot longer than it did. So from the starting position, now that I know how to do it, it's it's kind of memorized. In the starting position, you're gonna go through the first one on the left. You're gonna go through the one on the back, spin it around, you're gonna go through this one. From here, you're gonna go up, putting the ring completely through. Then you're gonna spin it back around so the ring is on the opening is on the top, and it's on the left side. From here, you're going to spin the ring to the bottom, up, and then out. That is crazy. That is not too bad. For a level 2 puzzle, that was a lot of fun. Um, I definitely enjoyed that. At first, I didn't know how I got the ring out, but it's fairly simple putting it back in. I'm Surprise, what's that? It's, uh, six to eight moves, maybe, to get the ring out. Does not take long whatsoever. I definitely recommend checking out some of the other puzzles that Puzzle Master has. A lot of great stuff, and they are a Canadian company, which is why I love working with them. I love finding Canadian companies and working with them just because I'm a Canadian YouTuber. I love finding that, so 
I definitely would recommend checking them out. I'll leave them linked down below with my affiliate link. Check out some of their other puzzles. They do have great sales and a lot of great things. There is some wooden puzzles, which I plan on doing some more in the future. And trying out other things. These past puzzles are amazing in my opinion. So I do have a level 3, 4, 5 left and some other puzzles, a lock puzzle, a wooden puzzle, and a few more things. So stay tuned, I'm going to be continuing to do these throughout almost the end of the year. So I hope you guys enjoy these puzzle videos, I'll see you guys in the next one, please take care, peace.